What is going on Besiegers? Welcome back. My name is JC and this is You, Me, and Besiege. I have something really exciting to share with you. I know I did upload a video earlier today, but this was just too good to not share with you guys. But update has just come out about three, maybe four hours ago. It's available on Steam and the Humble Bundle update if that's how you've purchased the game. But this is version 0.04 .04 of Besiege Alpha and it's awesome. As you can see, I've already built a small air balloon uh, using some of the new pieces, which uh, are in fact balloons and you can change the buoyancy on them as you can see here uh, the max buoyancy gives them more lift and it's a uh, it's really fun to play with so you see i built a small air balloon here really quick and actually in this video i'm going to be showing you how to build this small air balloon it's very simple but some people may be having a hard time building some things so i figured to uh, help walk them through it uh, this actually su uh, flies surprisingly good i had a little flamethrower in here for some extra air balloonage effect but um, let me show you how this flies. Now I can't start it on the ground because of this propeller. And also it looks like there's too much force and it causes the balloons to pop, which I'll show you here. And the balloons pop and we go nowhere. So I start it in the air a little bit, just like that. And each of these propellers is a different direction. So this is the front of the balloon. So when I hit front, it'll go front. Um, now the propeller does add some torque to the machine, so it has a tendency to spin a little bit, but it does correct that with the, the propellers, and it is flyable, so let me show you how this works. Oh, and see, we already got some spinach. Let's try again. And add a little air balloonage effect. And we're off, and we're going to slam into something. Oh, saves it. <laughs> yeah, but this, this thing is actually pretty maneuverable. I was pretty surprised. And if you let it go for a little bit without crashing into anything, it does start to get some height. Let's get some more air balloonage effect. Some flames. I'm actually surprised that these flames don't pop the balloons or set that block on fire. So it has, it has a really cool effect without uh, affecting the build too much. Let's go back the other way. Tilt it a little bit. So it's actually really fun to fly. Uh, I could probably add a bomb to the bottom of this or something and make like an air balloon bomber. But I haven't gotten that far yet. The updates only come out about two hours ago. And this is the first thing that came to mind that I managed to build with the new update things. And these balloons are actually really fun. Now I can't wait for someone to make like an aircraft carrier using only balloons. You would need a massive amount of balloons. But I'm sure someone's going to end up doing it eventually. And you can see we're not spinning right now. We're actually just floating and hovering along. We can go this way, or we can spin it back and go the other way. So yeah, actually really fun to make, really fun to fly. This new update is pretty cool, and I'll be also uploading another video that shows off some of the other things that came with the update. Uh, the other two blocks are sticks, which you can see, or wooden poles, which you can see I have attached to this block, and that's how I have my balloons connected. And also sliders, which I don't have on this, but they're kind of cool, and I'll be uploading those in another video. So let me show you how to make this small air balloon. So we can just start from scratch, okay? And I just started with a small wooden frame. I mean, you, I'm sure you can make this any size you want, but I was trying to be as realistic as possible. Air balloon carriages aren't that big. I start off with the frame, and I just left it hollow because obviously no one's standing in this, and it sheds off some of the weight so we can get some good flying height. And you take some wooden panels, and we can flip these to fit on the side. Let's go all around the outside here. Okay. And then you can add some support on the inside. I didn't add these to the last one, but I just thought of it now that it would be a better idea, I think. I think it would help stabilize it out a little bit. Plus, it gives it some extra aesthetic effect. Now we can add the supports for the balloons. I think I did about, hmm, maybe one block higher. Okay. And then I added some supports like this. And actually, probably gonna have to make those extend all the way up so to the top block top block on the other side now we can get rid of these blocks underneath cool 
And now I can show you the new wooden poles, which is these, and you can place them at pretty much any angle. Just add those along each corner of the floating block. And then balloons are under the flying pieces. Oh, and also they updated propellers. So you can see they kind of have a different design. And now you can flip them as you see on the option there with F. So you can get uplift or downlift. Select our balloons. And I also added some to the sides, which is really cool. This is cool about the wooden poles is that they have uh, four different connection points. And also you can add them to the corner as well. So I'll add those and uh, we could probably add some more on the end for extra support. All right, let's see what we're, if it flies good so far. Actually add one here. So yeah, this is, I'm actually making this one bigger than the original one that I showed you, but this should add for some, uh, some more lift. Okay. So now we can adjust the buoyancy to get some more lift on these balloons. This actually might be too much, but I guess we'll find out. I didn't have much time to update the balloon before I made this video, but I wanted to get the, the general design down first before I could show you guys how to how to make the general shape of it. Okay, did I miss any? Maybe down on the corners. Nope, nope. All right, I think I got all of them. Let's try again. All right, that should be a decent amount of lift. Now you can raise this up a little bit. We can add the propeller to the bottom. Oh, that's a piston. And back to the propellers. Now for this build, I flipped the propellers around because it seems by default they create down lift. Let's see. Yeah, they pull down, so you can flip them with F and create uplift rather than downlift. If those are the correct terms, I'm not sure. And we have flight. Now you see it does add a little bit of spin to it, but we're not quite done yet. Now we're gonna add the propellers. Add one on each side. And you can adjust these as you like, but I'm just gonna make this the front of the air balloon. And the left and the back and the right and I mean you can change you can change the flying speed on those if you want but I found a nice a nice flying speed not too fast just helps you float along instead of kind of dragging the bottom out from underneath of it okay and we pretty much have our air balloon so let's try it out oh actually I forgot the aesthetic effect let's add our flamethrower and as you can see they also added a new toggle effect to the flamethrower so you can actually toggle hold to fire let me change that to F for flames. And now you can just hold F and, you know, shoot as many flames as you want just by uh, holding down F instead of making it all go in one blast by uh, just tapping F. So let's try it out and see how she flies. Oh, and too much downforce. Now that seems to happen a lot with these balloons. Let's try on the ground. Nope. There we go. Might take you a few tries, and actually I can probably play this on Invincible so that the balloons don't pop. Oh, <laughs> we got stuck on the ground. And actually, you know what I think the problem is? I put, I have these extra weights in here in the corner, the block add extra weights, so I think that's like the breaking factor in this flying. But I did forget to change the flying, the spinning speed of the spinny block. So let's update that, make that 2x. Now we should be pretty good to go. There we go. You can see the other version I have didn't spin so much. You might have some problems spinning. If you saw when I first uh, started the video and introduced, you saw I had that uh, the first air balloon I built, and it fly, it flew pretty stable. So you might have to mess around with it a little bit. You might end up getting some spinning. I'd like to see what kind of uh, updates you can make to this or your own uh, hot air balloon design. You can post it in the comments and share it with me to your forum account or something. I'd love to see what you have in mind. But that's just a quick tutorial and a new update on the new pieces for Besiege. Uh, they're fun. I can't wait to build some more stuff with them. People already in the forums are building some pretty cool stuff. So I hope this helped you guys out.
feel free to leave some comments in the section below to tell me what you thought about it. And uh, if you're enjoying Besiege so far, let me know. And that's a really odd glitch. Oh, we froze because we went too high. Ha! Huh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that could happen. That's a first. Well, you guys witnessed something that I didn't know could happen. Your balloons actually freeze, I'm assuming, from the, the atmosphere because we went up too high. Wow. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Besiege Update V0.04. My name is JC, and this has been You, Me, and Besiege. Happy besieging.